parallelogram as per definition is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel that is all that is this is what we know about a parallelogram that the opposite sides are equal there are four sides so naturally two pairs of opposite sides they are not equal they are parallel please understand it is the parallel that is why the word parallelogram has come so this is the definition using this definition we will prove these properties these are the properties that can be proved about the parallelogram just using this definition and of course our knowledge of triangles congruency and things like that so what are the properties opposite sides are also equal if they are parallel they must be equal we will prove that which means ab is equal to cd and ad is equal to bc opposite sides they are also equal opposite angles are equal a is equal to c b is equal to d i have written the here adjacent angles are supplementary these are adjacent a and b are adjacent b and c are adjacent c and d adjacent and d and a adjacent they are supplementary that means their total is 180 degrees i have written here then diagonals ac and bd bisect each other that is they are meeting each other they are intersecting each other at this point o not only they are just intersecting they are bisecting each other which means if bd is the diagonal it cuts ac into two equal parts oa and oc that is what i have written here similarly ac is the diagonal which cuts bd into two equal parts ob and od the parts are equal these are the properties individually we are going to prove that these properties are true with just the knowledge of the sides being parallel so let us just draw a small parallelogram the only thing we know the sides being parallel that is all ok so a b c d how do you show parallelogram or parallel sides these two arrows indicate that this side is parallel to this side so in as you go to higher classes and you know later on whenever you see arrows like this you should take it for granted that the sides are parallel sometimes it may not even be written in the question these lines are enough these arrows are enough to tell you that this line is parallel to the other line similarly ad is parallel to bc so this is what i know because that is the definition now one by one i am going to prove all the four properties okay so we'll start with the first one opposite sides are equal what does that mean i have to prove that ab is equal to cd also bc is equal to ad this has to be proved for that i am just going to join ac which is a diagonal i'll mark certain angles say this is 1 and this is 2 let this angle be 3 and this angle be 4 i hope that's clear enough yes okay now this diagonal has divided the parallelogram into two triangles i can prove the two triangles to be congruent so let me write the names of the triangle in triangle abc and triangle adc i have to prove them to be congruent i can write angle 1 is equal to angle 2 why what is 1 and 2 they are alternate angles because ab is parallel to cd it is given so it is not something i am imagining it is already given so ab is parallel to cd ac acts as the transversal so angle 1 and 2 become alternate interior angle and they are equal so i have just written angle 1 is equal to angle 2 alternate interior angles similarly since ad is parallel to bc ac again acts as transversal 3 and 4 also become alternate interior angle so i can write angle 3 is equal to angle 4 for the same reason alternate interior angles being equal when the lines are parallel cut by the transversal what is the third concept i need to prove the two triangles as congruent for any triangle i need three elements i have got pairs of two angles so this is one angle concept this is another angle obviously the third angle i cannot take i have to necessarily take a side which is ac so i can write ac is equal to ac because it is common to both the triangles this is a common side so using asa 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 the two triangles become congruent so triangle abc is congruent to triangle adc by asa since the three elements used 
to prove the triangle as congruent or A S and A, the other three elements that is two more sides and one angle automatically become congruent by what is known as C P C T C. So, what are the other two sides? The sides are A B from the upper triangle equal to C D from the lower triangle. Similarly, B C from the upper triangle equal to A D from the lower triangle. These two are equal by C P C T C that is this property is there because of the C P C T C because the triangles are congruent the triangles have been proved congruent by just using this knowledge ok. So, I have already proved A B is equal to C D and B C is equal to A D A B C D A D B C just you know change the side that is all. So, this first point is already proved that is opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. Now, let us go to the next one which is opposite angles. From here itself the two triangles are congruent obviously the third angle has to be equal I can write angle B is equal to angle D angle B is equal to angle D which I have proved here this is also by C P C T C. Now only thing that is left is A is equal to C I have to yet prove what is A 1 and 3 together. So angle A is equal to angle 1 plus angle 3 angle C is equal to angle 2 plus angle 4. Since 1 is equal to 2 already we know and 3 is equal to 4. So, 1 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4 naturally the total is also going to be same this means angle A is equal to angle C. This is done this we have done just now we did this also these two already done here. So, maybe I can just underline so that we will come to know that we have done everything one by one. So, I can maybe sort of tick off all these things these two points have been taken care of two properties have been proved. The third property adjacent angles are supplementary. So, let us see the four angles together make 360 degrees that is the property of a quadrilateral all the angles put together is, is always 360 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees this I we know. But A is also equal to C. So, instead of A I can write C angle C B I will keep it as it is and then C as it is then instead of D D is equal to B. So, I can write angle B is equal to 360 degrees. So, you have 2 times angle C plus angle B is equal to 360 degrees which gives us angle C plus angle B is equal to 360 degrees by 2 that is 180 degrees. C plus B or B plus C is 180, B plus C is 180. Using this you can easily prove that A plus B is also 180 because C is equal to A. So, instead of C I can put A here and make it as 180. Similarly, instead of B I can put D, C plus D is 180. So, anyway I can prove if I am able to prove one pair as supplementary all the four pairs automatically follow the same rule. So, now this point has been proved. So, these three properties we have proved once we start doing the problems we need not every time prove in a parallelogram that these are the properties. If it is parallel it is going to be equal the angles are going to be equal the adjacent angles are going to be supplementary we can just take the knowledge as it is and start doing the problems. But for the theorem we have to necessarily prove. The fourth one is diagonals A C and B D bisect each other that is we have to prove that O A is equal to O C and O B is equal to O D we have to now prove. So, in the same triangle let me draw the other diagonal and let them meet at say O ok. Please remember whenever in any quadrilateral this thing you have to prove that is diagonals bisecting each other draw both the diagonals take a pair of opposite triangles and prove them to be congruent. What are the opposite triangles here? A O B and C O D they are opposite to each other is not it. So, we can prove them to be congruent or we can take the other pair it is ok any pair is fine. So, I will take this pair A O B and C O D I am just going to take these two triangles and prove them to be congruent. The moment I prove that they are congruent automatically O A will become equal to O C and O D will be equal to O B by C P C T C. So, I am not going to use this property this has to be proved. So, any of the above properties which I have already proved can be used to prove the two triangles as congruent ok. So, since already this is known to us. 
So, I can use them to prove this. Okay. So, let us see how to do that in triangle this is the fourth property maybe I can write here something like this this is first and this is opposite angles six two and say this is three just to mark it. Okay. In triangles what are the opposite triangles I am taking A O B and triangle C O D just look at these two triangles. Now, what are the things I know? I know that A B is equal to C D A B is equal to C D already I have proved somewhere here here A B is equal to C D that I know. So, one side I know one more angle I can take say angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is also known to us they are alternate interior angles. So, there is no magic here. So, I have a side I have an angle the other two sides I cannot take I cannot take O A and O B to prove something because I do not know anything about them they are what I have to prove. So, obviously the only thing I can take is perhaps this angle and this angle I can also take these two angles, but these two angles are very obvious one look at it you know they are equal why why this angle A O B is equal to C O D they are vertically opposite angles. So, angle A O B is equal to angle C O D vertically opposite angle three points are there you have two angles one side two angles one side this makes the two triangle congruent by A A S now it is not A S A you have two angles and then a side you have two angles and then a side the side is not included. So, it is just away from the two angles. So, that is okay. A A S any two angles one side is enough. So, I can just write triangle A O B is congruent to triangle C O D by A A S by A A S. Now, the triangles are congruent three elements I have used to prove them congruent other three elements automatically become equal by C P C T C what are the three elements left O A here O C here I can write O A is equal to O C the other set is O B and O D. So, O B is equal to O D and this is what we wanted and we have proved C P C T C. So, when the triangles are proved congruent using three elements the other three elements automatically become equal. So, O A is equal to O C, O B is equal to O D just two elements which is what I need what is the third element left, but we need not use it here this angle and this angle is also equal if needed we can write that also, but that is not necessary for our you know learning the properties. So, I have proved O A is equal to O C and O B is equal to O D these are the four properties which have been proved by us. So, now we will take these properties as granted. So, whenever we talk about a parallelogram these properties are now known to us we need not prove this every time for example, a rectangle is a parallelogram it has got some extra properties these properties are still valid it has got something extra and that is the extra which we will prove I will take it for granted that we know all of them. So, only for parallelogram I have proved anything that is a parallelogram rhombus is a parallelogram rectangle is a parallelogram square is a parallelogram with something extra that extra is what we will prove these four points will take it for granted. So, later on we will not prove it every time understand this remember this how we have proved please see that try to write it once again by yourself. So, that you will understand how we have proved remember these properties of a parallelogram.